that's where it's coming from. <laughs> Hello boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. Hope you guys are having a really, really good day. Today we're gonna work on this tool bench. Don't mind, you just call your Jeep a tool bench. I mean, look at it, it's a tool bench. We got tools on it, we got parts on it, we got tools on the tires, we got brooms on the tires, we got tires around the tires. This thing has clearly not moved. You guys have asked for updates on this. Since we can't work on the BMW because the, the exhaust is right here and the reason why that's off, is because the differential's out of it, and the rear differential's out of it because one of the bushings on one of the mounts went bad, and because of that, I'm going to replace all three of the bushings that hang on to this differential into the vehicle with the really, really good performance ones that don't break and uh, kind of give you a rougher ride, but because of that, your benefit is now that they last longer and they go through more strain. You guys know occasionally my machines see some strain. <laughs> Yeah, so I've put some things through some strain. I want to take off the tools and all the debris off the Jeep. I got the PCM in. We're going to see if this thing runs with their program PCM. You guys know that with the current PCM, what was happening, well, to begin with, it's a 97 chassis with a 99 engine. The reason why there's an engine swap is because we believe that this this Jeep originally came with a four cylinder, so somebody wanted to get some extra horsepower. So they threw a six cylinder in there. Well, now the problem is, is it starts, but after two seconds of running, it dies. Man, they package this thing very, very well. Two hours later. Here's our PCM, and it's even got our number on here, probably a reference number for them. Yeah, this sucker has been painted, so this is just like a used PCM, and then they program it to your needs. So let's see if it works. Here's our current PCM. We'll go ahead and take this sucker off, put our new PCM right in its place. As you guys know, I ordered this thing a long time ago, so if this works, that would be very, very good. If it doesn't work, it's going to put us back into just waiting on parts again. Please solve our issue so we can proceed. We have a lot of good upgrades in the works for this thing. That is so awesome, but it stinks so bad, like it hasn't ran in like a long time. I was just texting you. Were you? Yeah. I'm up at the warehouse. Yeah. And I'm out in my truck because uh, the Jeep smoked me out. So it was running, huh? Oh yeah, it runs. It runs and it doesn't stop? And it doesn't stop. Now that this thing runs, I'm going to do an engine oil flush. The oil that was originally in this thing was terrible, so we've already done an oil change. So now for this stuff, I guess you gotta heat up the engine for a little bit, turn it off, and then put that stuff in there, and then run it for a little bit more. I don't know what just happened, but the Jeep was just running all of a sudden, it stalled and it looks like there's some gasoline on the ground back here. We have a minor technical difficulty. You see the you see the black hose and you see the silver hose. Those two gotta get connected and then have a wire clamp on there. And we'll try to get this thing up to operating temperature so that we can start the flushing thing. I haven't thrown the flush stuff in yet. <laughs> I just installed the hose clamp, and I'm also inserting our oil flush. Just, uh, there it goes. All right, start it up and put five minutes on the clock.
<laughs> That's what the fluid looks like. It doesn't look like it's that dirty at all. Something you guys may not know, as soon as I bought this thing, I actually may have bought what I'm about to show you before I bought this thing. I bought this big box, and in this big box is a kit. Now they only made 200 of these kits, and I bought the second to last one. That's kind of why I bought it before the thing ran, because I was kind of pressured. But basically, well, I'm sure that the title actually shows it. I bought a turbo kit. So I'm actually opening this for the very first time. And I'm starting to see some in-house welds on this piece of pipe, or two, whichever you prefer. I think the only difference is, is the way it's measured. Pipe is inner diameter, tube is outer diameter, I do believe. We still have a lot to go. More pipe, this thing's gonna be like a plumber convention. Uh, you know what, let's get right down to brass tacks here. I'm gonna open up this box that says turbocharger. This. This is what we're after. This is the first turbo I've ever held in my hand in my life. Remember at Christmas time when you got the best present ever? That's kind of what I'm going through. This thing's nice and it's really shiny. Here's the exhaust manifold. This should be our intercooler. Yeah. An air filter, which is good because our current victim doesn't have an air filter. Like check out our current air filter system. It's not the best. We're down to our two final boxes. Clamps for days, couplers for days, other tube for days. What's in these little boxes? Looks like another coupler. Then we got a bunch of PVC 90s, and it looks like our turbo cooler lines. Yeah, this is a short 3D Machines production. I didn't get in here late, and now it's close to curfew, so we're not going to tear into the Jeep right now. I just wanted to show you that. I didn't want you guys to wait another day, so I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Definitely hit that bell button, hit that like button so you guys stay in the loop. We're definitely gonna start getting the Jeep going. Obviously, we got a turbo going. We have lifts in the midst. And then eventually things like tires and tops and the list goes on and on and on. But it's one step at a time. I'm super stoked that this little black box works. Because otherwise, we wouldn't be able to install our first ever turbo. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Have a great day. Looks like the Duramax may not be the only turboed vehicle that we're going to have. Yeah, that's right, Duramax. We're working on a new relative for you.